What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Balanced Perception YouTube channel. And today I am here to talk about my Space Marine armor. I'm currently working on building it. I've actually been working on building it since last year. I had to take a hiatus because I didn't have enough space at the other place, but now that we're in our permanent location, I have enough space to work on this again. So I brought it out of storage and I wanna show you guys the progress that I have made and then the plans that I plan to do, you know, moving forward. There's still a good few pieces that I have left to make, like the arms and the legs and the feet. That's all gonna come, but I just wanna show you an update on what I have done so today let's check out my space marine armor <laughs> okay guys so Again, I'm here with my Space Marine armor that is currently in the works. I mean, I have a ton of work to do on this. I have to trim off excess, fill in seams, sand, all that stuff. But this is really, really a rough creation of what I have so far. I have pieces scattered all on the floor that you can't see, but I'm gonna lift them up to show you guys. So first off, Thank you to Pellerud. He's the one who made the original file. I actually got in contact with him. Um, I forget where he's located, but I got in contact with him via Facebook and he definitely helped me out on a few questions I've had. And I'm sure I will end up messaging him again because I still have tons of other questions. But the basic files came from him. I used the Armored Garage or Armor Smith to make a, you know, like a model of me, put in my dimensions, and then I took the file overlaid it on top of the model since I knew it was specific to my body standards or my body specifications. That's how I knew that the armor would fit. Once I did that, I then printed off each piece, put them onto EVA foam, which I will link for you guys, the foam that I'm using, cut them out and begin gluing them together. I used, um, oh, what is the name of that glue? Not Mod Podge, uh, I'm gonna have to get it for you guys. I will link that below figure it out for you guys. Yeah, but it's amazing. It's extremely durable. I've dropped this several times. I have to use the heat gun. I will link that too, that I've been using to get this back into shape. As I said, it has been in storage. It's supposed to, you know, look like this. Boom. So I do have to heat gun it up. But let me just show you guys. It does in fact fit. So you can see it here on my head. I can turn, I can look, you can see it. There we go. <laughs> It uh, probably could use some adjusting. I need to add some foam in here to make it fit perfectly right, but it does in fact fit. And I told you guys I have a ton of hair, so getting things to fit on my head is always a lot of work. Let's move on to the chest piece that I have created here. Boom. And let's see if we can get this on. It's always a pain to get this on, hold up. Without ripping it. Ah, there we go. Ooh, so the chest piece does fit. Oh, ah, my hair. But yeah, the chest piece does fit. You can see. I have been working on this. Well, I was working on this. We'll be continuing to work on it rather diligently. It's actually a lot of fun. You know, I was using my, um, what's it called? Not my razor, but just basically I was using scissors and a knife and just cutting out all the pieces. And I will link that for you guys if you're interested too. We have the shoulder, shoulder one, and shoulder two. I'm probably gonna end up using magnets to get these to fit on my shoulders as they do not, whoops, do not fit right now on there without some type of assistance. Like, ah, <laughs> I need to get someone to help me do this as you can see, but yes. So it will go in like that. This one will go in like this. <laughs> this one will go on. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna happen right now. I can't hold it, but yes, they're gonna go on like this. They're massive, as you guys can tell from the images. I really like how the shoulders came out the most. That's the piece that I actually really, really am proud of. But yeah, it's gonna all go on like that. And then I have also completed the lower torso, which is gonna go on like this. I'm gonna put that on for you guys here. So you can see, yes, this is how it will all fit together along with the shoulder. So I am very, very excited about this. Um, I have a lot of work left to do, but I will say that I enjoy 
doing both of you guys seen the 3D printing episodes along with this because I can work on them like at the same time, quote unquote. So while that's 3D printing, I'll be working on this. And then when that's done 3D printing, I have to figure out how to, well, I can't work on those obviously at the same two times, but you know what I'm saying. One's kind of being working, worked on automatically while the other I'm having to do manually. So either way, I'm looking forward to completing this, figuring out how I'm gonna do the rest. Hopefully when it's all said and done, I will stand, you know, about like 10 feet tall or something like that because I'm going to get stilts and everything for the shoes. But that's the eventual plan. So I would like to say thank you so much, Hellerud, for giving me this awesome armor file that I am currently working on. And I look forward to eventually completing it. This is my very first time ever creating armor out of EVA foam. This is literally the first thing I've ever done. I probably should have started smaller, but you know, go big or go home, that's my motto, screw it. Just, you know, do what you're gonna do and learn along the way. So this is literally the first time I've ever ordered EVA foam, ordered a hot gun, I ordered a Dremel, all that stuff. And this is what I've been able to do with it so far. If any of you other guys plan on making this file, I would love to see your builds and let me know below. Um, I'm sure Pellerud would also love to know that other people are creating the items that he created, you know, using his files. And hopefully this will end up coming out even more amazing than I have envisioned. I don't know which chapter yet I'm gonna do for the Space Marines, um, maybe Blood Ravens, cause I don't know, I love the Blood Ravens. But I don't know, we shall see. But this is it overall. Thank you guys so much for checking out this episode and seeing the progress I have made on my Space Marine armor. I look forward to showing you guys more progress once I make the arms and once I make the legs and just seeing the whole thing come together and stick around, well, not for this episode, but the next episode where I'm actually almost done completing my sword. It's at, I think, oh man, I think it's at like 50% for the next file and then I have one more and then I will show you guys all of it and then I will assemble it, paint it, all that. I have lots of good stuff in the works for you guys so definitely check it out please. Definitely like and subscribe also as it greatly helps the channel and until next time stay balanced. See you guys. Bye bye. <laughs>